the, the really the short answer. Now, what we ended up going on to is actually a, a, a decent concept, which was what makes the the pound or any currency. Can you judge a currency's value based off of historical or technical levels? Now, I would believe that the answer is yes and no. Yes, in so far as it's a reference point. Yeah. So let's say, you know, this, and I'll go to, actually, I'll go to a live chart, make it a lot easier. Right. Let's go to a live chart. Uh, it's a good, technicals are a good reference. So if we zoom out to the weekly, right, let's zoom out to the weekly. Get rid of everything on the past chart. Now, if you've gone through the course, you will know that what I say is, is that at some point, this is obviously deemed a bargain area for the pound, right? This was a bargain area. For the for the pounds back in 2020 during the during the pandemic. Yeah, brilliant, excellent. Now, as a reference point, the question then becomes: is that a bargain now? Yeah. Now, price, just looking solely at price, it would suggest that it is a potential. Of course, none of us know, but we don't, well, I don't base my analysis on what bargain is a bargain is based off of price because price is not a reflection of value yeah i mean it can be but typically you need to know you know how uh, what a currency or any asset how it derives its value and it's not through really looking at price i understand 100 understand that it was a bargain here so it could be a bargain there but on a on deeper reflection what happened what what drove prices higher here for the pound, yeah, may not be the same thing that drives prices higher here for the pound, yeah? And so let's say prices come all the way down, have come all the way down here. Now, let's say, for example, I don't know, Rishi Sunak was the person that ended up getting prime minister and his policies would have been totally opposite, you know, from Liz Truss's, obviously, Um because he would have ran on, on, on different policies. And let's say, for example, the market thought that his policies were terrible, yeah, for the pound. Because fundamentally, you know, we're looking at, you know, the fundamentals, right? That's what we're looking for, is in, to derive value, not price. So although we can look to the left and see that it was a bargain two years ago, A, it's not the, the, the same thing. The reasons for the pound going higher is not going to be the same as 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 today and so and b fundamentally we need to know what's going on now which basically un, you know makes us understand why price should go lower or beyond that point or actually if the pound is actually a bargain down here based off of what we understand about fundamentals yeah so just because something is seen as for example the dollar might be seen as expensive does that mean that the pound is cheap? Does that mean that the pound is cheap? That's the question to you guys. It's not a rhetoric question. <laughs> just, just, just to get, just to get, you know, your feedback. No, it exactly, it doesn't. Something can stay expensive forever, and also as well, who's to say that this is expensive? Exactly, it's two different stories. That's exactly it. First of all, now. Had this, let's say, for example, this wasn't a weekly chart. And let's say, for example, this nice little price action had happened, let's say, for example, one month ago. Yeah. Let's say it happened one month ago. Now, you, it's, it's easier to determine whether anything has changed fundamentally when prices come up to or down to this point. So let's say, for example, the, the, the Bank of England, let's just go into fantasy land. And the Bank of England now have decided that they want to, you know, everything is lovely with the economy, right? GDP is growing. Everything is, 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 is wonderful, right? They're growing, going into the, you know, expansion phase of the economic cycle and inflation is trending away. And do you know what I mean? It's everything is brilliant. 
And then you start to see this happen. Yeah, prices are going, you know, against the pound. Yeah, but the situ the scenario that caused price to go higher here has not changed. Yeah, so GDP is good. Everything is good. Central bank is hiking into strength. All of that. Is, does this now look like a bargain or does it not? Today, right? A month ago, and nothing has changed, by the way. Nothing has changed here. Yeah, we're still, scenario fundamentals are still the same. Exactly. It does look like a bargain now, right? <laughs> yes, in fantasy land, exactly, right? <laughs> so, but, the, and, and this is the point. This is exactly the point. Whatever drove prices here and caused traders to buy, yeah, price is not value and value is not always reflected in price. If you can understand that, the, the banks want to buy at bargain prices and you're not looking at this as, and scratching your head and going, oh, well, why, 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 why? Rather than just looking at it like prices are coming down. This is absolutely a fantastic buying opportunity because nothing has changed fundamentally from like a month ago. Then this is a bargain. Yeah. So, so great, you know, um, I'm thankful for uh, for for Edwin for um, for highlighting this and going through the conversation, and um, I think it's a really important point. It's a very very important point that you know we should uh, we should make. Yes, price. Like I said, typically we know that to be a bargain or an expensive area, but it doesn't mean that this is going to be a bargain based off of just typically what price has done there. We need to know. The fundamentals and what risk sentiment is and what the central bank is doing etc that's what is the most important so more things to to, 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 to go over but loads of things to go over uh, and something is very important as well which is uh where are we now bank of japan intervention language that is um there's an article today which came out, which I thought was, again, uh, fantastic. Another great article. Where is it?